Welcome to Good Mythical More. Which mythical crew member are you? Which mythical crew member are, are we? we? Let's take the official quiz. But first, oh, this is fitting. Let's play Ready, Pet, Go, where we look at uh, one of your pets and then try to decide what that pet's name is. This pet is from Bella. Oh, that's a, what is that? A, is that a gecko? It's a reptilian creature of some sort facing away from us. Shy, shy little booger. I'm gonna go with the white tail. Herb. Herb. I'm gonna go with uh, Keanu. Oh, that's good. Richard. Richard. Closer to closer to Herb. 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 More of like a a basic guy name. Is that a gecko? Who knows, man. Uh, well, I bet you Bella knows. Thanks for submitting that. And you can submit your pet with hashtag GMM pet, ready pet go. Uh, and we'll, you know, we'll find it and we might put it on the show. Yeah, and give it an alternate name. Stevie, did we created this quiz in house. Yep, we had mythical crew members create this quiz and uh, we're going to learn what mythical crew member you are based right. on your favorite product. So we're going to go through the quiz and take down both of your individual answers and. Uh, Find out. I feel like I might need to visit an eye wash station. Do we have one of those? Oh, really? You got some icky icky in your in your eyeball? Like I'm feeling I'm feeling the cider eye. Oh, I wasn't aiming for your eye. Side eye and cider eye, two very different things. But you, I can, I can tell do, you wash. Let me see if I can do side eye with cider. All right, eye. give us the give us the first question. Can the can can viewers take yeah. this quiz or is it just for? But of course, the link is in the description. Link is in the description, so you can take it too. All right, let's do it. Childhood nostalgia! Exclamation point. Which of the following items would you buy? Razor scooter, karaoke machine, easy bake oven, or super soaker? Super soaker. Yeah, I, super soaker is the easy answer. Fill it with cider. Right. Put it right in your eye. Super soaker. Mm. I, 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 Why the, the only, super soaker? It's the only one of those that I actually had. Yeah. I didn't have an easy bake oven. I didn't have a razor scooter. I, we, I had a scooter before they had razor scooters. It was like they were bigger. What about Rex in uh, Definitely not Lost, a razor. Lost, Lost Cause of Bleak Creek? That wasn't a razor scooter. I know, but it's close. All right, we answered scooter. it both. We're, we're in agreement. You've decided to redecorate your room, which is a must-have item for you. Okay. Inflatable chair, silk pillowcase to cover your Tempur-Pedic pillow, plant, I love plants, a life-size replica of Darth Vader to scare off intruders, watch me while I sleep, and to drape clothes over when I'm lazy. Well, let me just, first of all, just Life give size. you a little story. Vader? Uh, we've told so many things on the internet. I don't know if you've heard this one before. But there was a time, Link and I had an idea. This is back when we were very, very early huh. on in our career as entertainers. Yeah. When we were doing the Rhett and Link cast live in the basement studio in Lill Lillington. And we had this idea, because we were trying to figure out ways to make money doing what we loved. And this is before there were sponsors. So we looked into drop shipping. So basically, drop shipping is when you have it, you carry an inventory of a product, or I don't know exactly how it is. But, I'm riveted. But essentially, you're a reseller of products that somebody else has on wholesale, and you're taking wholesale prices, selling for retail, and you can make some money. So we were like, let's do our live show while sitting in inflatable furniture. And because we can we can store a lot of this inflatable furniture because it's inflatable, and then we can sit on it because it's inflatable, and we, we can will, sell we, it because it'll be a video. We can do the live we can do the live show in this inflatable furniture. I'm glad we didn't follow through with that because have you ever sat in inflatable furniture? It's kind of loud. Yeah, not very comfortable. Uh, but that was one of the early business ideas that didn't pan out. So maybe for nostalgia's sake, I'm going to go with inflatable furniture. I'm gonna go with the Vader. Well, even the my wife will go for the plant, your, your so wife we got that insist covered. on the plant. That's her, not me, though. It's an interesting uh, selection of decor items, I must say. It's really, you know, okay. We'll we'll, we'll move on. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's nothing like being judged in the midst of a survey. <laughs> Which item? I didn't. I was saying the options are weird. Oh, oh yeah. you're talking about the 
yeah. next uh-huh. thing. But I'll judge you when we cut. Which item would you choose if you wanted to be comfy? Chicken fuzzy socks, big fluffy glow in the dark blanket, mm. mythical joggers, a big mug of hot chocolate. Nothing comfier than that. That one had a little tagline yeah, that was like, like that. a little inappropriate. To me. That Nothing yeah. comfier than that. Yeah. Uh, also, the third it's option needed. is like it seems like a brand opportunity, and it feels that feels manipulative for a whole different reason. I'm gonna go with the blanket because uh, that's what I go for. I do wear the sweats, but I'm going with the blanket. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the sweats because uh, I do wear sweats, but I'm not going with branded sweats because I don't want you to I don't want you to feel pressure to buy them. Although okay. they are great. There's a backstory here, and I'll tell you why it's not a branded plug actually, because there were there was an original version of this uh, quiz that was open ended and hard, um, and I was like it's too hard. But the question was what you know what item do you have that like keeps you the comfiest? And I was like, my mythical joggers, like honestly are very comfortable. That's my answer to this. And then they put it in as an option. I mean, not to, if you're taking the quiz and you want to try and get me, pluggy pluggy. I just gave you a cheat, but, um, but yeah. Okay. Hey, if you want another plug, I'll go ahead and add the GMM travel mug. This thing says good mythical morning. I think. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> it's cool looking I hope though. it does. It plops open, you drink from it, you shut it, and you travel with it. Available now at mythical.com. It'll go in your cup holder. Back to school time! Is It's all caps with exclamation I appreciate points. your enthusiasm. Okay. Which do you demand to have on the first day back? Glitter gel pens. Yeah, these nope. work for 30 seconds, but it is worth it. Scented erasers, no super cool planner, pencil case. None of these excite me. When's lunch? Uh, that I wasn't a guy that got three of these excite that me. Did his school supply? I, what I did is I showed up with nothing on day one, and I just it was a it was a survey of the landscape. It was like what what do what do you need for this? Okay, he's got this, that's, he's got this, and then I went and smart. got it. But all I was thinking about the whole time for all of school was lunch and PE. So I'm going to go with lunch. Um, so that's really none of the above. Scented erasers. I just love sniffing on something in class. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would go with the planner for what it's worth. Nice. Oh, really? <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice planned out, organized. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One has Travel to go, people. colon. Video games, cell phones, AirPods, Ice cream. Video games. <laughs> it already has gone. I gave up on that back in the Mario days. If you can't beat Mario, what kind of future do you have? Well, uh, you didn't. You beat Mario. Never. You never beat Mario? No. I did beat Mario, but I will agree, I do not have uh, a place in my life right now for video games, and so it's already gone as well. Oh, I thought Cell you were going to throw the AirPods, AirPods, AirPods under. Cream. Well, you're I don't. Like, you're, I, you're on a crusade for AirPods lately. I am? Yeah, you were like, AirPods, they stop working. Yeah, I I have, I don't, use, I don't use AirPods on the video calls anymore. I, it was like, that was like a early, like a half, the first half of 2020, I was like, always on AirPods. So I was like, this is the new thing. Everybody's yeah. got AirPods all the time. Since you don't need them if you're, uh, you, your, your computer can usually cancel it out. You know? Yeah, it cancels it. Man. I need to um, change whatever, I got a new iPhone. I just want to let everyone know. Oh. Uh, I What'd need to get change. The seven? Congrats. <laughs> yeah, I got the seven. I need to change whatever setting. It it basically is letting me know where my AirPods are at all times as if it's a problem. Like if I leave <laughs> my right. AirPods at my house, my phone is like, your AirPods were last seen at this address. And I'm like, wow. yeah, that's because it's my house. And then this morning huh. I left my AirPods in my book bag at my chair here on stage and then I went into my office and my iPhone was like you left your AirPods <laughs> between here and there yeah is this a new feature of like huh. the new OS yeah it wasn't on my fine, my other one it must be in the fine it, mind like yeah it really does not want me to lose my AirPods which I appreciate but yeah yeah I mean you know they can be lost easily what if you, keep, you were what, if you, what about one of them what if one of them gets loose oh I what, haven't your, tested that one yet your left AirPod was in Louisiana yeah I don't think I don't think it would do that. If you were going to be a clown, oh, this is a 
visual. <laughs> this is, oh, you have visual. Okay. We do. We got I was going to describe it to you. If you're going to be a clown at a children's birthday party, which costume would you buy? This little vintage number. Pennywise, a healthy dose of fear is important for children's growth. A classic. No costume. I'm going to attach hundreds of these dolls to a large t-shirt. That's an interesting choice. I'm thinking classic because it's just, it's, it, you don't have to go full Pennywise to be full creepy. But if you classic do. Classic is just as creepy. Well, I don't believe this as creepy. I love scaring children and uh, I'm going with Pennywise. Especially as tall as you are, that's a nightmare. You said classic? Uh, I said, Link? yeah, classic and Pennywise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, you are on a game show to see who can live on a I deserted am. island alone the longest. You're allowed to bring one of the following items. Which do you choose? This quiz is all over the place. We're going We're going everywhere here from a clown at a kid's birthday party yeah. to... Hey, we're, hey we're gonna, I'm going to learn. The crew is an eclectic group. We're going to learn who we are on the crew. A tent... A Swiss Army multi-tool, an economy-sized pack of toilet paper, a portable Blu-ray player with a copy of Ghost Rider starring Nicolas Cage. Well, there's no electricity unless you figure out a way to like rub coconuts together to make it. So I don't think your Blu-ray player is going to work. You're going to run out of toilet paper quickly anyway. Yeah. You the should, tent you is should be go, able to make man. a tent. Yeah, this is, that's important. A Swiss Army multi-tool, I believe, is going to last a long time and be very, very yeah. helpful. That's got to be it, the multi-tool. Multi-tool. Agreed. If you could only shop at a single store for the rest of your life, what store would that be? Oh. Hot Topic. <laughs> Sharper Image, wow. Bath and Body Works, or Dick's Sporting Goods. Oh, is, I mean, Dick's Sporting Goods is at least 12 times the size of any of those. Yeah. And there's clothes, and there's fun stuff. Do they have camping, camping stuff? They got camping equipment. This is a, so easy. Bath and Body Works just has a, do they, you might be just wearing robes for the rest of your life. And also there's food at Dick's Sporting Goods. They've got like the whole thing at the end with all the food. I think I might just want to start shopping at Dick's without even having to be subject to this quiz. Hmm. I'm only shopping at Dick's even for Even though the rest I've of my never life. I've never done it. From here on out. I agree. I have to. Yeah. This is the first time I chose Dick's as well. Yeah. Never been in there, I don't think. Um Okay, we're tabulating your results. Turns out I got Stevie uh when I was taking it. Uh that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Stevie's okay. Not you're Stevie. both. Are we about to same. find out? You're what, both. You what? are not yourself. We're, we're both the same person? You're both the same person. Okay. Do, how, what do are our guess? choices? What are our choices? Uh, you could be me, Nicole, Emily, Paisley, David Hill, or Twinkie, Twinkle Fingies. I think I'm probably I bet we're Paisley. Paisley. Yeah, you're both Paisley. Yeah. What's I mean, up, everyone? Me. I'm Mike. I love being outdoors, petting animals, and thrift shopping. Ask me about my Pez dispenser collection. <laughs> but there's no like email address or that's anything. How describe, so how that's how I would describe. That's how well, I think it's Pez Pez Collection at Hotmail .com. You said email address, and I thought you said there's no anal address on here. Oh, that's you our next quiz. You could have kept that to yourself. I just heard mm -hmm. it. What, which crew member's anal address are you? That's well, you know what? You, that new operating system on your iPhone will tell you exactly. Your AirPods are in your anus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Paisley. So are you. Travel on, traveler, with the colorful GMM Travel Mug, available now at mythical.com.